Hello guys, how are you? I'm back with a new video and for this video I'm going to talk about the ultimate guide for new students coming to Canada, especially Georgian College. So ideally I wanted to do one video on how to find your mentors but uh, someone recently uh, connected with me and I was very happy for that, so um, thank you. And um, actually, uh, we get to talk and ask me questions and everything. And this, these are questions that I get very often. So what do I need to do? Where do I need to go? What are the expenses and all these things? And it's a very short one, so I'm trying to make uh, short videos. and try to put the very very essential things first thing you will need to have when you first come to canada if you're an international student coming to georgian and if you're new and if you're new and uh, yes let's get started so the very first thing check my list here the very first thing that you would want to have is some cash so you can have some cash from um, whichever country you are from and then exchange it at the airport so I know like for example in my country it's not recommended to walk with cash but in Canada I found it pretty safe so you can walk with some of it how much you're going to ask me how much so it really depends and I'm going to explain to you why so for me I came I guess with a thousand I don't know if it was a 500 with thousand dollars or something like that to maybe less i guess it was a hundred to okay i guess it was a 500 dollars. it was around 500 dollars because rem i remember when i first came i exchanged my money it's going to be a year i've been here now but i don't know the exact uh amount but um around i guess 500 because i paid for uh the taxi from Peterson Airport to Barry eighty dollar, so it's definitely more than a hundred. So you you would want to do that. And the second reason why you would want to have cash with you is because you just came to the country, and if ever you came in the morning, in the evening, or at night, so I don't. Well, when you come, you're very tired. All you want to do is to take a shower and to sleep. So and even though you came super early and you want to open a, a bank a, a bank account. For the money tr to transfer money from your country to Canada, it's going to take some time. So you would want to have some cash review simply as simple as taking a coffee. The first thing I bought was actually a coffee at Tim Horton. And so if you would want to buy a coffee, if you want to buy a subway or something to eat, so cash would be very handy when you come. So first thing when you come, exchange your money at the airport. The second thing you would want to get your SIN number. And don't worry, it's free. A SIN number, it's a social insurance number. Whenever you're going to work, you're going. the employer is going to ask you for your SIN number. And never ever give your SIN number to only the employer, Georgian College, and the bank. If someone calls you and says, like, oh, your SIN number has been uh, something and you're going to get uh, into trouble, don't believe them. If ever someone or the government or the services needs to get in touch with you they are going to do so with a letter not with a phone call if you get a phone call this is a scam okay how you get your sin number so when i got it at the airport itself so there was a long line of students and people normally students because i came in september and i was like what should i do what should i do and i i never traveled before it was my very first time in canada so you cannot miss that line when you're going to be there there's going to be a very long line of people waiting and if you don't know what it is just ask a woman for me it was a woman who was there or you can ask a guy and be like oh i just came and i'm a new student so what should i do and they're going to direct you to that uh, line so you stand in the line and uh, once you arrive in front of that person there was, there will be two people um with a desk when you arrive at the desk you'll be like i'm a new student this is my uh, study permit this is my offer letter from georgian they're going to give you the uh, your sin number very important if you want to start working even though you're an international student 
you definitely need your SIN number. The second thing is to change your ro roaming because um, you're not on Canada, so there's lots of application that, um, when I say application, I mean mobile, mobile app that you can download on your phone, which is um, accessible in Canada and in US or sometimes in Europe, but not in, for example, Mauritius, where I am from or from India or stuff like that. So you need to change your uh, roaming so that you can have access to these apps. And you would say like, why do I need these apps? Trust me. So there's something very, very basic, which is Google app. And you would want that. If you were new like me and you need to travel, you would want that. So this is Google Google Map. Okay, this is Google Map, and I'll let's say I'll type something as simple as Georgian College. Just a second here. See, it's going to give me which. Let's see if I can show you that. It's going to give me which bus to take, okay? So I tap on that. And it's going to give me... So, ooh. so Nelson is going to be the bus stop. And the different stop that you have, like hickling, blah, 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 blah. So once you arrive um, at Georgian College, you would just need to ring the bell and the bus is going to stop and you will know where actually you need to stop now you can tell me like okay it's my first time in canada i don't know where to ring the bell it's okay in the bus each stop that they have they're going there's a voice that's going to say hitling trail um allendale or saint vincent so you would know each time they are going to pass that street that voice is going to come out and say like which street you are and when you found like your that is going to say Georgian College just ring the bell the next stop they're going to stop you there and you're good okay okay what's my next tip um okay you would want to have a sim card so and now you're going to say like okay which service provider so I have a friend who went with Kudo, which is good. When I first came, I went with Virgin because it was the cheapest one. Okay, the cheapest one is Freedom, but I'll get to Freedom in a second. So I got Virgin. It was $40, but I was using my own phone. It was um, iPhone 7 at that time. So when you bring your own phone, you get a reduction on your bill because you're, you're not purchasing a phone. But my phone was a bit crappy actually i'm going to show it to you this was my old phone so i actually what i did i actually waited for black friday and i got the cheapest phone ever so it's a new phone but the an old model it's an iphone 8 and um now i'm actually with fido i got five gigs for 55 bucks which is pretty good and another thing I experienced with Virgin is that I didn't get connection everywhere. So when I was working at a burger place, I would not get connection. But with Fido, I do get it. However, there's a debate because Fido, I guess, is the most expensive one. So check it out really well. I got a really good deal because I'm, one, I wait for Black Friday. Two, I'm very good at networking. <laughs> Uh, so if ever you're choosing the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest one, you should go with Freedom Mobile. This is the cheapest one. However, when it comes to internet, you get unlimited data when you're in Barry. So you get your uh, phone side, you can make phone calls, you can uh, text, and you get unlimited data when you're in Barry. But as, uh, as soon as you le leave Barry, you have to actually pay for your data. I don't know how much you do pay, but you do have a fee to pay for that. And at times you don't get network a good network if you're outside of Barry as well. So just bear that in mind. So yeah, basically that's what I did. Well, I'm very happy. It's not such a long video as it used to be. So I'm going to just do a quick recap. So the first thing is change your money, uh, change your currency to get cash because you would need that for um, 
basically if to pay for your uber you would need that to simply pay for food and the second one is um get get in the line so yeah for me because it was a long line so get your sin number at the airport you can have it afterwards but it's going to take a couple of days or weeks so you can just wait a couple of hours in the line and get your sim number and everything is done you can start working so which is for me which is better the third thing change your roaming roaming so that you can have um access to application mobile application in canada especially um so especially for google map if you want to go around in canada in Barrie and the third one get a sim card you would want that if you need to call another really great thing when you are with you don't know which uh, at what time the bus comes so when you go on the bus stop and uh, there will be um, a board so there will be a board to tell you which bus so as we saw here this is the 100b okay this is the 100b so when you go on the bus stop, you will see 100B, 100C, 1A, etc. And then there's going to be a phone number. Take your phone, t text, so there will be a code. So sometimes it's 100, it's 75, whichever it is. Text that number on that phone number that's going to be on that board. And it's going to populate all the hours of the bus. Which bus, at what time they are coming. So it's very important that you get a SIM card as well, a Canadian SIM card. So yeah, that's basically it. If you have any other specific questions that you want me to address, um, go ahead. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.